On Tuesday, April 28, 2014, my buddy Damo Freeman was told to appear in legal land or else. He had a motions hearing related to a baseless double jeopardy wiretapping re-indictment sought by Michael Valentine. For more on that situation, I encourage you to check out coplock.org slash freeadamo. Before strolling into the so-called Superior Court, I saw a road pirate vehicle parked in an unusual spot and decided to stroll over. So what's the big deal about a police employee parking in a park? Well, quite simply, the double standards that it establishes. How's it going? How are you doing? Pretty well. I was just curious what's going on while you're parked out here. Oh, well, if I were parked out here, would would that be all right? Take your hands out of your pockets, please. Um, my hands are cold, so my hands are in my pocket. You videotape me, record me? Well, we're out in public, aren't we? You have you no expectation of privacy. Yeah, you started this conversation. Yeah, I was just curious why you're parked out here, though. And if... Part of my patrol. Just hanging out in the park? Yeah. So, you have... Because of your job, you're saying you have the ability to park here? And what would happen if I were to park here? I'd ask you to leave. And what would happen if I continued to park here? I tow your car. You know the answers to these questions, man. I know who you are. I know your game. I'm not biting. I'm not biting. I don't have a game. I'm just trying to talk common sense, man. Like okay. what double standards lead to. Okay. You allow for a little bit of double standards. It's parking today and then tomorrow. Maybe your colleague assaults somebody and you don't interrupt it. Can I get your name and badge number, please? 93. 90. Stelly. Stelly? Battistelli. Battistelli. Yeah. Okay, have a good day.